I am Bonnie Browning, and I'm the show director for the American Quilter Society, and I want to introduce Liz Hammonds, who is our director of education. She's the one that puts together all the teachers and the classes for our shows. And last year, we decided that it would be fun for everybody to get to show a quilt at Paducah, and all of our shows, as a matter of fact. So we started this pop-up party at noon on Friday, and so Liz will bring you up here by Rose and you'll hand her your card and then you'll just stand right here and show your quilt and I'll read what's on your card about the quilt and you. And then if you'll just go that way and then come back to your seat from there, okay? And then Our, when we're done, come back up oh. here. We have, we have a ribbon for you to show the quilt. So come back up here to pick that up. <laughs> yeah, you'll hand your card. <laughs> It's always fun. Did you bring your latest project or did you just bring a small piece? The latest one. One of them. One of them, okay. All right. Well, it's always fun to see them. And, and you know, a lot of our quilts don't fit in the contest that we have here. So this gives you a chance and us a chance to see even more quilts. Okay, Liz, do you want to bring a couple rows up? Here, I'm going to move over here. This will work better. Okay. All right. And so this is Funky Vintage by Sharon Schauble. Schauble. Okay. From Olathe, Kansas. She made this with a vintage quilt. The back is an old top, never quilted. The front was quilted, cut into blocks, sewn together with sashes. She appliqued flowers, it's machine done. The border is made of two strips diagonally, machine quilted in nature shapes, butterflies, dragonflies, and hummingbirds. Fun, thank you. Want me to take the... No, we'll just keep it here in case we need your name. Okay, she says I made this and tell me who's I. Oh, other side. Oh, <laughs> sorry. This is Chris Boyer from Raleigh, North Carolina. This is the Bernina Amanda Murphy 125th anniversary quilt. It took three months to make. It will be a wedding gift. I made it for a couple who I never thought would ever get married. <laughs> they now are getting married next year. That turned out really pretty. That, and so did you buy this with a new machine? Or did no, you get this with a new no, machine? I bought the kit and okay. then downloaded Okay, she said she bought the kit and then downloaded the images. Thank you. Oh, look at this. Okay, this is Jackie Williams from Rockport, Illinois. Once upon a time, it's from Flora Joy's book, Trispective, this three-in-one quilt. Um, she had help from Linda Belford, who helped her with the computer work. And now I have to ask you, was it fun to make? It was. It was hard. It was challenging, but I, I, it's my treasure. Once you got the images done, it probably went together pretty easily, though, didn't it? No, it was still hard. It was still hard. <laughs> <laughs> my friend helped me with the computer images and things like that. And I love the fabric you used for the frame. Very nice. That's a picture. That was a picture, and the way oh, I quilted really? it makes it look like a frame. All right. Yeah, Flora frame. Joy is the one who did that technique. And the book is on sale in American Quilter Society. They have the book. <laughs> okay, do they? Okay, yeah. thank you. Lola Newman from Columbus, Georgia. This is her mosaic pump. It's a Cheryl Lynch design of tiled mosaic. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to know, when you walk through the show, have you seen a number of mosaic style quilts? That's kind of the hot new thing. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. And this is Harry Dongus. Is that how you say it? Okay, from Blairsville, Georgia. Raw edge applique and couching. <laughs> now, was that made from a photo? Yes. And it wouldn't fit in a showcase. 
too short. Well, so we got to see it and it's beautiful. Thank you for sharing with us. And so this has to be the other half of, this is Kay Dongus from Blairsville, Georgia, and this is Fused Applique. Lovely face. Yes, thank you. Mary Evans from Paducah, Kentucky. Yay! And she calls this I pinch. Oh, it's a crab. <laughs> Again, this is a Cheryl Lynch design and it is tiled mosaic. And that's my sister. Oh, okay. Our, oh, we've got the whole crowd, the whole family's here. We do. <laughs> Do you know what, isn't that one of the fun things about Paducah, is you get to meet your, your sisters and your mother yes. and your friends from all over. It is, it's great. All right, this is Edna Lindemann and she's a sister to these other two from, but you're from Fort Wright, Kentucky. And this is Mosaic Robin. And again, it's a Cheryl Lynch design of tiled mosaic. Thank you. And I'm the fourth one. There's four of them. <laughs> Norita, Norita, Norita Alexander from Independence, Kentucky, giving light. And again, this is a Cheryl Lynch design with the mosaic. Thank you for sharing. Now I have to know, did you all get together to do these? No, but we all bought it at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Kay Nolan is from Aurora, Illinois, and this is called Banana, Banana Diet. And it is, oh, I'll take that kind of banana diet. <laughs> and it's applique. Thank you. And Michelle Kearney Willis is from Stone Mountain, Georgia. And this is Purple Rain, applique and free motion quilted. Ooh, wow. And so I have to know, what is this fabric? This, it's like a sateen fabric. It's sateen. That's why it has such a shine to it. Yes. Thank you for sharing. Beautiful quilting. Okay, so Vicki Stalling Smith is from Marietta, Marietta, Georgia. This is called Solomon. It's appliqued with free motion quilting. It was made for a little dog. For a doll? A dog. A dog. Oh, this is a dog quilt. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't have a dog, but I had a cat and I couldn't lay a single thing out that he didn't crawl right on it. <laughs> Just stand right there. Rita Corson from Macomb, Illinois. And this is called Stitchin' Addiction, a hissy fit design. It's appliqued, raw edge, free motion quilted on her APQS Lenny. And she used grandma's buttons. Higher, there we go. Thank you for sharing. And Elisa Seamster, do you get teased about your last name? I bet you do. She's from Pelham, North Carolina. Is someone watching me? This is a 25 by 25 quilt guild challenge. It had to be 25 inches square and have 25 of something. It's her original pattern, machine quilted and machine applique. Fun, thank you. And Frida, oh boy, you know, they give me these names. This is a test, isn't it? Gris, Grishkowski from Stillwater, Oklahoma. And this is collage number one, the bunny. And it's collage technique. See, that's a really hot thing, isn't it? Yes. This is Carol Selby and Susie Lily, Lily. Carol is from Rantou, Illinois, and Susie is from Holt Summit, Missouri. Did you meet here for the, the week? She is my husband's cousin. Husband's cousin. <laughs> and this is Sprigs and Twigs by Kim De Deal. It's pieced and applied by Susie and given to Carol for the accom uh, Accommodation. accommodations prior to the quilt, prior to the quilt show. It's not easy to do shadow quilting with black thread on black fabric. We know that. Yes, stretch it out tight. There you go. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing with us. Not 
actually quilted, but it's paper piece. Okay, so Lynn didn't get hers quilted yet, but this is Lynn Rapp from Reynolds Burial Burry Burr? Burr. Reynoldsburg, Ohio. A paper piece star using a Carol Dokes pattern, and it was a workshop with Carol. Okay, hold it high. Pretty. Thank you. Kathy Fox is from War Cornwall, UK. You came the farthest so far. This wall, all wall hanging was a result of a workshop with Brenda Thomas. The top is cotton fabric appliqued onto wool or felt. Machine quilted using stitches from the machine in free motion. This wall hanging was a gift for my mother's 86th birthday. That was March 11th. She loved it. I enjoyed working with the felt and using stitches on the machine. You know, we buy these machines and we don't yeah. use those stitches exactly. nearly enough. Exactly. Thank you Thank for you. sharing. And Sheila Andrews is from Plymouth, England in the UK. Welcome to Paducah. This is called The Good Earth. It was made at a workshop with my quilt group, Brunel Quilters, okay? The wall hanging was machine pieced and the reeds and seed pods were screen printed before machine quilting and hand quilting. Finishing it off with some hand embroidery and beads. It was named after a book I was reading at the time called The Good Earth by Pearl S. Buck, which is a story of a farmer's journey through China in the 1920s. Hopefully the embroidered words at the top of the piece spell the good, word, good earth with a little help from an online translation app. <laughs> Now, I have to tell you, I use that translation app all the time. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Dawn Zillich Bristol has... Connecticut, sorry. She didn't write, but she's from Connecticut. She, she, her quilt is called Summer. Hi. This is my first mini? Yeah. Her first mini quilt, but I'm eager to do more. Embroidery is my passion, machine quilted and hand, and hand embroidered. And I made this part of it. <laughs> and so, yeah, so, she, so she, she pieced this part of it and then did the hand embroidery yes. in the center. Very nice, thank you. And, I paper -pieced. and she paper pieced. <laughs> we decided to be the quilt ourselves. <laughs> okay, you know, we don't just make quilts, sometimes we make garments. And so this is Judy Howard and Marlene Martin. Judy's from Lancaster and Marlene is from Danville, Kentucky. My favorite earrings. Every year we make a vest to wear to Paducah. We do this, we do this to help us keep track of each other. It's appliqued and embellished. Fun, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we have a great big one. Melinda Locksmiller. Oh, I know Melinda. I've talked to you on the telephone, haven't I? This is her th 23rd year at Paducah, and she took t-shirts from the Paducah shows from 1996 to 2018. Martha Leonardis uh, I, from iQuilt Design. And so she's one of our iQuilt instructors. Free motion quilted on an APQS Lucy machine. And didn't she do a good job of putting her t-shirts? You know, I've just been throwing mine in a box. I need to get busy. Is there anybody else who has something to show? Oh. Yeah, it's, it's hanging up front if you miss it. Anybody else? Melinda's been, Melinda's been letting us take that quilt on the road with us as part of our 23rd or 35th anniversary. So it's been fun to share it and show it with everybody. Well, we'll do this again at our next show, and we'll be back here again next year at Friday on noon. So bring us your quilts. We'd love to see them.